The second fundamental principle of pricing is related to the decision-making unit and decision-making process, the DMU and the DMP, which we talked about earlier. Now all that work, we're going to reap rewards from that because in this process, we probably have seen key pricing points of which if we exceed, it will create significant friction in the process. That means it will drag out the sales process. Let me give you an example that will make this very clear. Charles Deguire, who founded a company called Canova Robotics up in Montreal, has an assistive robotic arm that helps people in wheelchairs to be able to handle objects that they couldn't otherwise. So when he moved into the, the market in the Netherlands, he analyzed the decision-making process, and he found out that his product could get reimbursed at 28,000 euros. So with no questions asked. So when, as he entered the market, he thought about it, said, what should I price it? I could price it at 32,000, I could price it at 30, I could price it. Well, guess what? What was the price, price point for him? It was clearly 27,900 euros. Why? Because if he did that, he could get it reimbursed without any questions right away. If it's above that, then other people have to get involved. All of a sudden, the DMU gets much more complicated. The sales process takes much longer. It is clearly not worth the extra um, money that he would get from that. So that's, an, that's a very clear example of how do you think about key price points that you discovered in the decision-making process and integrating that into your thinking about pricing.